This week's For the Love of It story is the St. Stephen's School Old Boys Association. Led by Joe Harawira, in 2000 St. Stephen's was temporarily closed to work through financial and personal troubles. But it took too long to resolve and the school was shut in 2003. Carmen Parahi joined Joe Harawira in the rain at St. Stephen's, reflecting on a promise made to the old boys that the school would reopen. My committee's responsibility has been to keep the reopening of the school in the consciousness of the um, St. Stephen's Queen Vic Trust Board and the church. We've been uh, proactive, I think, as old boys since 2003 in looking to uh, fulfil that wish, that dream of a number of old boys and a number of parents. I didn't think that it would take this long to get to uh, the point that we are at. Uh, whereby the um, Old Boys Association have been asked to work with the uh, same Stephen's Queen Vic uh, Trust Board and, and the church to see where this kaupapa is going to be uh, taken. And I'm optimistic that uh, it will come uh, to fruition. My relationship with this place began in 1970 when my dad sent me from Whakatane High School to St Stephen's. It's something that I don't think you uh, understand unless you've been to a boarding school. The camaraderie, there's a whole range of uh, whanaungatanga um, for life, actually, those friends. The special things that, uh, that happened at the school, the rugby, the education, it wasn't a school just for Māori boys. Uh, we had some Asians here, we had Islanders. Yeah, it, was, it was something uh, quite, quite special about this place. If you have a look at a lot of the leaders in, in Māori Dim today, a lot of them have come from Māori boarding schools. I know of many who have come from out of St. Stephen's who are leading their iwi in, uh, in politics in a whole range of uh, places and spaces. They go forward into the world with that Māori boarding school ngāko. I feel pretty sad that the school is in the state, but it's, uh, it's understandable. St. Stephen's Queen Book Trust Board and the church have been working fervently to um, get rid of the debt. Uh, the infrastructure here is um, it's quite old. Uh, I think um, part of the school has uh, been condemned. It's sad to see it in this state. In 2012, we got a call from the St. Stephen's Queen Book Trust Board to say that they've um, paid off uh, a lot of the debt that the school was in, which was one of the problems and the reasons that we closed down and that They'd like to um, reinvestigate the reopening of both St. Stephen's and Queen Vic School. Going forward, we're going to ensure that the health and safety is priority number one, um, and we're going to base it on um, tikanga Māori, te taha hinengaro, te taha tinana, te taha wairua. The boys that are going to be coming to the school, once we reopen it, they need to have a school where they can build their own culture. I don't want to build a monument to the past, I want to build a monument to the future and that uh, the boys that come to our school can build their own culture on St. Stephen's. I love this place, yeah, yeah. get very emotional uh, every time I come here. It's, uh, it's a tear to the eye to uh, stand here and uh, see the state that it's, uh, that it's in, but I'm positive for the future. I do believe that there is still a place for boarding schools and uh, I believe the St. Stephen's Queen Book Trust Board and uh, the church are going to carry through with their um, promise to reopen our schools.